In this video, we're going to write code in Excel VBA that automatically opens a file of our choosing. And once that file is opened, inserts a pivot table that summarizes the data on that file. So you can see here, I have a folder containing some daily files. When I open one of these files, it has loan information for all of the loans that were originated on that particular day. So what we want to create is code like this. We just have a button where we get an input prompt where we input the file name, which is a date. Once I click OK or hit enter, it opens the file and inserts a pivot table that summarizes the data. So the first thing we want to do is get into the VBA editor window. You can do that by hitting Alt F11 on your keyboard or going to the developer ribbon and clicking this visual basic button. Anywhere in this project window, I'm going to right click and go to insert and then module. We'll call this subroutine add pivot table. And I went ahead and created the variable names that we want to use here. So to save a little time, I just pasted them in here. So our first variable is going to be the source workbook that just represents whatever file we want to open and insert the pivot table on. Then we have source worksheet variable that represents the first sheet that contains our data that holds the values we want to use in our pivot table. We then have a new worksheet variable that is also in this source workbook, which represents the new worksheet that we're going to add where the pivot table will live. We have a path variable that is a string variable that contains the path of the files that we want to open and insert the pivot table for. We have a variable called file name that represents the file name of whatever file we want to open, which although the file names are date files, they are still strings as far as when we want to open them. So that is also as the data type string. We have a variable called pivot table cache, which represents a snapshot of the data that we want to insert in our pivot table. And then we have a pivot table variable that represents our pivot table. So the first thing we want to set up is our path of where the files are that we want to open. So I'm simply just going to copy this path here. This needs to be enclosed in double quotes and one important thing we need to do on the end here is add another slash because we're eventually going to join this path to our file name variable and we need to have a slash between the two. So don't forget to add an ending double quote also. So now we want to define our file name variable and that is going to be the output of an input message box. So we want to get that prompt and we also want to format that date input for the file name in a date format. So we're going to begin with the format function. And it has really two inputs that we need here. The thing we want to format and then the format we want it in. So we want the thing we want to format is the output of our input box. So that's going to be our first input here and that has really only one input we need which is the prompt message so we're going to say enter file name and then we're back into our format function and we just want to format that in a date format so now we need to set our workbook object variable that we want to open so that begins with the keyword set so this is our source workbook so that's going to be equal to workbooks and open 
and that input that we need here is our path file name as a string so we're going to reference our path use the and symbol to join this to our file name variable and then use another and symbol to join this to our file extension which is .xlsx I'm going to set our source worksheet equal to our source workbook and then worksheets and for every one of these files our source data is on sheet 1 going to set our new worksheet that gets added and where our pivot table will live as our source workbook and then worksheets and we want to add a new sheet so now at this point we want to set our pivot table cache variable which as I said earlier is just a snapshot of the data that we want in our pivot table so that's going to be equal to our source workbook and then pivot table or I should say pivot caches and we want to create and this function has three parameters here the first one is the source type so we have a range here so that's going to be XL database and then we have the location of our source data so that's going to be a reference to our source worksheet our source data begins on range a1 and then we're just going to use the current region to get all of the adjacent cells to a1 so that will select everything and then the final input is the pivot table version we want to use so that's going to be Excel pivot table version 15 that is the latest as of now so now that we've set our pivot table cache we can define our pivot table variable so here what we need to reference is our new worksheet where this pivot table will live and then the pivot tables method and what we want to do here is add a new pivot table and the first thing we need to define here is our pivot cache so that's going to be equal to our pivot table cache variable we just created we then have our pivot table destination so that's going to be equal to our new worksheet variable and the point where we want that to begin which is going to be range a1 and then our final input to the add method is our table name so we'll call this summary so this here will create a blank pivot table and it does not yet have columns or row labels headers because we have not given it any so we want to define those so we're going to use a with statement on our pivot table variable and we want to use the pivot fields method and what we want to use here for our fields are the headers of our source data so the first one I wanted to find is the location column so that's my header name on my sheet and then orientation is where do we want this so we want it as an Excel row field so we're gonna do a similar thing for our column field so that's gonna be our loan type column header and instead of a row field we want a column field and then we finally have our data field so that's gonna be the amount column and 
and that is going to be Excel data field. So the last thing we want to do is format our data. So we're going to reference the data body range property and then use number format and set that as an accounting style format. So we're done here. So we can end our with statement. That should be everything we need. So I'm going to go ahead and just run this. So the name of our subroutine is called add pivot table. So I'll click run. We get our prompt to enter the file name we want to open. So you can see that opens our file and inserts a pivot table on the second sheet that gets added. So if we want to insert a button on the macro workbook that contains our code to do this automatically, we can go up to our developer ribbon, go to insert, click that first button icon and link our subroutine to that button. So we'll say open file and add pivot table. We can run this now. And there it is. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button.